Hi, everybody. How are you doing today? So, uh, you may or may not know that I write books on manifestation and um, the law of frequency attunement. I wrote one of the first books on the science of frequency attunement. So I'm talking about quantum physics and creating with quantum physics. Some people call it the law of attraction. I don't like to do that because then people throw it into some airy-fairy new age thing when it's not about religion. It's about quantum physics. So anyway, I wanted to talk about money. All my clients, almost all my clients, not all of them, but almost all of them come to me and they want two things for sure. They want love and they want money. So today I'm going to talk about money. <laughs> uh, the easier of the two, actually. Okay, so you want money. You want cash, right? And I always tell people, well, money is a very interesting energy and you're way better off focusing on what it is you want with the cash instead of just focusing on getting money. So for instance, if you need to pay the rent, you want to focus on rent paid so that somehow all of God's miraculous universe can come through and bring it to you in some divine way, rent paid. Okay, that said, there's a bunch of you are saying like, I want cash, I need cash. So here is my best tip for manifesting cash. Okay, I'm gonna give you two. Number one, like it, like money. Stop disliking your money. Stop thinking that only evil people have money, that anybody with a good heart or that's an artist shouldn't make money. Money's great, money's an awesome energy. If you have money and you're a good person, you can help the world. And if you have money and you're a bad person, you're probably not gonna help the world as much. You're gonna help yourself, but you, you, this person I'm talking to, if you had more money, you would do great things with it, right? I know you would. You'd buy something awesome for yourself, which would make you love yourself more. You'd probably help people you love, maybe even the rest of the world. So having money is a great thing for good people. Start having a better relationship with money. Talk to the little guys, talk to those dollars, say hello, hello, like their energy, like their beings. I know it's crazy, but right now we're, we kind of have, most of us, this confused relationship with money. Like, oh, there it goes, like we can't control it, or we're losing it, it gets away from us too quick, or we don't have enough, so we have this, you know, scarcity and lack thing around money. Every time you have some dollars, even if they're dollars, play with them, throw them around, get used to liking money. Okay, here's my other second tip. Uh, it's kind of like tithing, but wrap a $5 bill in a piece of paper. And on the piece of paper, say something like, this is for you. And please take it, and please also pay it forward. Which means you're going to wrap it up and maybe write high or something and leave it someplace where somebody you don't know will find that $5. And in finding that $5, not only do they get money, but they also get good wishes from you. And they get that great moral vibe of like, yeah, you know, there's people out there not thinking about just themselves that are paying it forward. And what that does, again, is free up you energetically to by giving away to bring in more. I mean, they talk about it in the Bible, tithing, you know, so um, it's been around a long time. But energetically, there's a reason it works too. Okay, well, I hope this has helped a little bit. I hope you use these tricks and the next time I talk to you, you're all like, I got all this money out of the blue or an extra job or something that equates to money. Anyway, I'd love to hear your stories if you do. And thanks a lot for listening and have a wonderful, wealthy and abundant day.